show days are always something very special. It's why all of us that are in the business got into the business. When we open the doors to the public, and that never loses its thrill. Just realizing that there was a full machine behind live entertainment, behind music, got me to realize that that was the industry that I was meant to be a part of. My name is Tex Dyke. I'm vice president and general manager of the Zappos Theater at Planet Hollywood and the Coliseum at Caesars Palace. Our official capacity is just over 7,000. Most of our resident shows are set up with a capacity of 4,600. Over the last few years, we've been averaging between 130 and 150 shows per year. We consistently have three shows a week over the course of the vast majority of the year. It's a very aggressive schedule, but there's always kind of something special in getting to see the expressions on people's faces. It's almost always smiles from ear to ear, and it's a really special feeling knowing that both myself and my team had quite a bit to do with, with helping create that experience for them. I think the thing that led me to entertainment was realizing that it's a special experience, not just from the fan standpoint, but that there was a lot going into it. There was a lot taking place that uh, most people probably don't really notice or, or pay attention to. When it comes to productions of this size and this scale and managing staffs of this size and, and, and this scale, so many aspects of the venue just would not be possible without the knowledge and the efforts and, and the know-how that comes from Nate and his team. This is the backstage area of Zappos Theater. I'm standing on what would be the loading dock area where all of our trucks unload. 10 to 20 trucks per show typically will unload into this space, all in road cases of various sizes, and roll onto the stage. Then the labor crews take over from there and assemble the show and start to build it. It takes generally one to two days to build the show. There's over 200 moving lights that live in the theater uh, that have to be maintained. Um, a lot of moving parts in each light. Um, each one, we have to relamp them. Uh, they have so many hours they can have before we have to swap out the lamps. So 200 lamps, you have to get to each fixture, open it up, pull out the old lamp, clean it, blow it out, uh, dust, debris, anything that's in it, and then put the new one in, move on to the next one. In most shows, there's a time where the band or the principal artist will need to get off stage to do a quick change, change out of their old costume and put a new costume on, uh, while there might be a video playing or dancers doing a number on stage. So they have to come off and they have to do a change somewhere. We have something called a quick change tent. Down in the corner we have where the special effects team has set up all of their equipment. They operate the show from here. So these silver cylinders that you see on the edge of the stage are the CO2 jets uh, that are controlled by our pyrotechnic team. Uh, the CO2 jets, when you go see a concert and you see that giant white plume of smoke that comes up from the stage and it disappears real quick, that's actually generated by CO2. The theater itself was built in 1976. Uh, it's the first dome theater in Las Vegas, and it's the only dome theater to date still. Uh, it seats 7,000 plus people. Uh, so we're also the largest theater in Las Vegas, which is a great selling point for us when it comes to a large show like a resident artist. Right here is our VIP package experience. Six guests sit at a table. You get a bottle included with that. And your proximity to the artist is just a couple feet. So you can see from where I'm at, you're 10 feet away from your favorite artist. Great experience, best selling point of our room is you can be right there with the artist and have a great experience with your friends, great memory.